House will come to order. The next question, the member for Guelph. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Premier. I've been told that the Premier gave PC MPPs a For the People sign for their desk. After the Premier's latest attack on local democracy, I'm wondering if they've changed the signs to Doug Knows Best. The people of this province do not need the Premier to dictate to them how they should conduct local democratic elections. I'm confident the people can decide that themselves. And if they choose ranked ballots, they will choose a system that leads to more civility, something I believe we all need in politics. So, Speaker, my question is for the Premier. If ranked ballots are good enough to elect the Premier as leader of his party, why are they not good enough to elect mayors and municipal councillors? Never for Milton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I pointed out earlier, our proposed changes would bring predictability to municipal elections. It would bring consistency to municipal elections, and we would vote the same way federally, same way we would vote provincially, and the same way we would vote uh, municipally, Mr. Speaker. I am proud of the fact that our government has a collaborative relationship with municipal partners that is unprecedented in Ontario. Just this year, under the leadership of our Premier, Mr. Speaker, we signed a safe restart agreement Order. which will provide $4 billion in emergency funding to our municipal partners. Our government also passed legislation that gives municipalities more say on the locations of green energy products, projects and landfills. This collaborative spirit is not shared, obviously, by the opposition who voted Response. against all of these measures, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary question. Speaker, I find the parliamentary insistence answer shocking. That the government actually thinks that they're going to impose on municipalities and take away their democratic right to determine how they're going to elect their local councils is just wrong. I'm also quite offended, Speaker, that the government keeps putting a price tag on democracy. Democracy, it cheapens democracy to do that. You know, the fixed cost for the ranked ballot elections in London Question. were 10 cents an, ele an elector. 10 cents an elector. So, the, can the parliamentary assistant, through you, Speaker, can the parliamentary assistant explain to the people of Ontario how 10 cents is too much to spend on improving democracy? Order. Parliamentary assistant, reply. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank uh, the member opposite for that question. And for the member's benefit, Mr. Speaker, let me translate what 10 cents elector looks like in real dollars, order. Mr. Speaker. That works out to $515,000 additional cost. That is 40% higher, Mr. Speaker, literally to receive the exact same result that they would have received under the previous member process, for Waterloo, come to order. What we're trying to do on this side of the member House for Davenport, is come make to order. the process consistent. This is exactly how we vote in our federal elections. This is the same way we vote in our provincial election, and it will be the same way that voters in Ontario can vote in a municipal election while respecting the taxpayers' dollars, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Member for Kingston.